guys and welcome to today's video. Since it is party season, I thought I would quickly share with you my day to night makeup routine, what I would put on my face during the day and then I'm going to transform it into my night evening routine. Um, I am having issues with my skin at the moment. I use the Elemis facial tan. I don't know what it's called but I'll link it down below although I don't recommend it because it breaks me out. But let's get started with the makeup because otherwise this could be a long video. And the first thing I'm going to start with is the Hourglass Veil Primer. I haven't used this but I've heard good things and I do really like a primer. I think it just leaves my skin looking much nicer so I'm just going to apply that all over. And I think I've applied too much. I guess that's the issue with trying a product on camera for the first time. My two favorite foundations of the moment is Elizabeth Arden Provage, it's amazing. And then the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm actually not sure if the All Nighter is gonna be the right color for me. I have another color somewhere, but I don't know where it is. But I'm just gonna go for a little bit of this all over the face. And I'm gonna take my UBU number 22 foundation brush to apply that with. I'm actually gonna be doing a UBU giveaway very soon so keep an eye out on my instagram if you want to win some brushes they're really affordable but nice quality too also i realized this foundation looked a bit dark when i initially applied it but i think it kind of works with my neck and the rest of my body it was just that my face was a bit fair on to eyes which is currently my favorite thing and i'm going to use a Too faced shadow insurance apply that all over my eyelid i need to get my brows done as well grew back really quickly this time. Then I've been doing the same thing over and over and over recently. I'm going to take my Lorac Pro palette and I'm gonna take cream all over my eye area. And this is on the UBU number 35 brush. Just using this to kind of set my primer and add like a very uniform colour to my lid. And then sticking with the same brush, I'm going to use Ulti Bronze from the same palette and there is literally like barely any left, which makes me sad as, as it's clearly my favourite. I think it's the first ever shadow I have finished from palette. It's quite a nice everyday colour. And just blend out the edges as well. And because I'm going to add to this later, I'm just going to leave it like this, like a very natural one wash of colour over the lid. Onto my brows, and I'm currently loving the Bobbi Brown Mahogany Longwear Brow Pencil. And I'm just going to fill in just the beginning of my brows a little bit. Very minimal, I will fill in more for the evening. I'm just going to add a bit of my Benefit Ready Set Brow to keep all my hairs in place. Going to curl my lashes. I'm really hoping to get um, like a semi-permanent lash curl, lash perm, lash lift, lash lift um, soon. And I'm going to add a few coats of my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And since I'm going to add makeup on top of all of this, I just want to keep it quite light and I'm actually not going to add much more makeup. I'm going to add a little bit of concealer, I'm not going to overdo it, I'm just going to add a little bit of It by by under eye. I'm just going to take a little bit onto my ring finger, warm it up, because it is one of those products that really does need to be warmed up. and just apply it to my under eyes a little bit. This is the medium shade, but it's quite light. I used the light a few days ago. Oh my god, was it light. I'm just going to soften that up with the number 22 brush. And same on the other side. And this concealer does need to be set, so I'm just going to use a Laura Mercier loose powder. And I'm going to take it on a UBU angled brush. And there's not really any reason for that, it's just a nice size to go under my eyes and I am just powdering lightly I don't really want anything too heavy I just want to set it and that's it and I'm gonna take a little bit more of that powder over the rest of the face another product I have been loving is the studio 10 bronzing powder it's so beautiful it's just the perfect shade for me in my opinion I'm gonna take some of that on the same brush just over my cheeks just to add a really light glow nothing too strong now I know there's a bit of a anti-gloss campaign out at the moment, but I personally like gloss, especially nude glosses. So I'm gonna go for the Sexy Mother Pucker in Rose and Shine. Although it is windy, so I feel like gloss is a little bit risky. But that's what I would go for for a day look, but I'll quickly show you how I would transform this look into a night look. Now obviously I've just applied this makeup, so you kind of have to imagine a little bit. 
I would probably apply a little bit more concealer. I wouldn't apply any more foundation just because I feel like it can get cakey. And concealer you can just apply to where you need it. I like the IT Cosmetics concealer but also something like the Urban Decay Naked Concealer I think works really well on top of my makeup. I'm not gonna go like too nighttime. it's gonna be still quite natural but I'm gonna go back into that bronzing powder with the eyeshadow brush and apply that to the crease just to define it a little bit. I just use the brush to blend out any harsh lines just like that and obviously do the same on the other eye I'm just blending that out a little bit now sometimes I do like to add a, like a more glittery shadow and I am tempted but I want to add a red lip I was kind of over red for a little bit but I saw Kendall Jenner wear one yesterday on the James Corden's show and it looked amazing so I do want to add a red lip so I don't want to overdo anything else. So I'm also going to remove this gloss before going on. I haven't worn a red lip in so long, I'm like fairly excited. And of course it's going to be like a matte, MAC red. Going to define my brows a little bit more. I, I don't want to add like too much drama but I think you can do brows and lip. I just don't think you can add too much to your eyes. So just doing... A little bit more of a statement eye. I do think a good bold brow keeps everything looking quite modern but I do want to define my eyes a little bit. So I'm gonna go back into my Lorac Pro palette and I'm gonna take Expresso which is just here it's like a dark brown on my UBU number 31 brush and kind of just use it a little bit as liner. I'm just patting it onto my hands so I can get off as much product as possible well as much like loose powder. So just like that nothing too harsh and just onto the other eye and this is also another great trick if you're not great at eyeliner and i'm going to use the ubu 316 brush just to blend that out a little bit just smudge that in and i'm gonna i've got some fallout here so i'm just gonna try and wipe that away a little bit and then gonna go over with the foundation brush just like that i know you shouldn't really recurl your lashes once you've got mascara on but i am going to recurl and add a second coat of mascara same mascara and i'm going to add a little bit to the bottom lashes now i'm going to go into lips i am going to touch up my skin a little bit but for now i'm going to go into lips and i'm going to use the rimmel exaggerate lip liner in red diva it doesn't match the lipstick exactly but i think i can make it work going up the lips to the middle and same thing on the bottom lining my lips in red always makes me notice how <laughs> non-symmetrical my lips are just try to even that out a little bit and i always like to fill in a little bit just means your lipstick lasts longer and because the colors don't match 100 percent, i think it helps as well and then taking my mac ruby woo it's like the classic mac red over that it's the perfect party season red as well and that's the lipstick applied. Now because the lip is quite matte, I'm only going to powder lightly again. Because if you want your makeup to last all night, I do think you need to powder a little bit. Just through the centre of my face. I'm not going to overdo the powder because of the matte lip. I think it can be a bit much. But I'm also going to highlight because I love some highlight. I have a new highlighter. It is beautiful. It's called Undress Your Skin Golden scintillation um, shimmer highlighter from MUA so a super affordable option so I'm going to take the 11 brush from UBU and I'm just going to use the side of it so really lightly so that I don't pick up too much product and I can highlight quite carefully look how pretty that highlight is and so inexpensive as well and if you feel like your highlight is just a bit too much I think I brought it too far in just go over it with your foundation to kind of hide it a little bit. And just taking the UBU number 35 brush again, I'm just going to use the same colour in my inner corner and under my brow. And then for my final step, I'm going to use MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I hate it when I get it in my hair though. I may have overdone it on the Fix Plus. Dry. And this is the final evening look. Um, I hope you like it. I... I'm really happy I went for a red lip because I haven't worn red lipstick honestly in so long not out of choice like sometimes I go to an event and they'll put it on for me 
but um, I haven't put it on at home by myself. I do feel like I'm a little bit out of practice as well. Hopefully the shape is okay. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy your Christmas parties this party season and I hope this video was somewhat useful. Obviously if you want to add shadow instead of lips you can do that. Maybe I'll do that in my next video. I love a bit of glitter. So um, oh, another tip and actually probably something you could do with this makeup look is to take a bit of glitter eyeliner and press it into your into your lid for example i think a gold glitter would look quite cute here and very very festive but again thanks so much for watching like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget i will be doing a ubu giveaway if you want to win some brushes then definitely check out my instagram and that should be up very soon and i should see you all maybe tomorrow or maybe in a couple of days bye